Hello and welcome to Kyala Gram Market on this lovely, what evening is this? Thursday evening. Uh, it's a very rainy day in Bangalore. Uh, so let's get started today. What do we do here? We do Nifty charts, we do Bank Nifty charts, we do USDNR charts, we do, what else do we do? We do open interest analysis and we do uh, FIDI data. Then we take, <coughs> try to form an informed opinion on what the market is likely to do tomorrow and then we figure out what how do we react to what the market is going to do tomorrow right so this is our uh, larger meta so we got massively lucky yesterday <laughs> i mean <laughs> so i said uh, 15 500 to 15 700 and uh, that was my you know thought process and when i looked at in the market uh, looked at the market in the morning i thought ki yaar jitne logo ne mera suda sabke paise rok gaye but luckily you know uh, so in the interest of full disclosure, I had a 15650, sorry, I had a 17650, 17700, very tight 50 point uh, call spread uh, and yeah, that, that went well. I, although I, I had completely given up on my call spread and I thought ki yaar ye to gaya. But of course, you know, uh, this is pure luck, right? So, but anyway, uh, fun day today, uh, at least after 2 o'clock. Uh, so let's get started with Calagram market, right? So first of all, Nifty chart. We talked about this uh, blue line and the gap fill and all that. Today, Nifty has formed a bearish engulfing in spot chart, in futures chart, and uh, in spot chart, right? And this is interesting. In spot chart, Nifty has hit the point where we thought the breakout has happened and formed a bearish engulfing. So, I, and this is important. So, Nifty forming bearish engulfing on both spot and future chart touched the blue line in spot and took rejection. Right? This is a very important statement because it is showing that it had. Uh, it has touched the blue trend line and got rejection from the top of the blue trend line, right? So, and it formed a candlestick pattern. So, look at it, right? It's a bearish engulfing pattern forming at the at near a resistance. So, that is that cannot be good. So, I'm not saying that you should be short here, but at least long karne ka to sense ne banta, right? Now, let's look at Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty perfect rejection from the top of the blue line again with massive volumes so our theory that there's a blue trend line running through this thing is kind of right i guess right because there is significant rejection from this blue trend line so i mean somebody says that if you randomly draw a line some level will fit but you know but we had drawn this a while back and there is rejection here also and there is massive volumes right so nifty bank nifty uh, both are showing rejection right now let us go to op option chart now important thing this is only day one it's not significant but early even in early trends right you can see that uh, calls are much more dominant today than put 17700 is a big resistance and yaha uh, 17700 is a big resistance again so a lot of 17700 calls sold as of now 17700 seems a big resistance and there is no significant support 17700 is a big resistance but it is only day one so uh, no clear trend yet right no clear trend because based on one day the opening day of a week we can't say that boss kuch hai right pcr is 0 0.8 which is uh, neutral neutral to slightly negative one could even say negative because this is around the atm there are towering calls but there aren't towering puts here right so that is what now finally let's go to apna hero the uh, fidi analysis fidi analysis the gap between calls and puts have reduced but there are more puts than calls so puts are 1 1.5x calls Today there is a lot of activity, the gap has reduced but most of this activity could be coming from expiry day, unwind or maybe, maybe, right. Um, so I don't want to read too much into this, uh, 
but it is undeniable that they have sold a lot more puts than calls right so puts ka oi has reduced significantly so fa sold put and sold calls but sold a lot more puts right heavy put selling by fa so i'll just write that out say heavy put selling 85k quantity and this is bullish right now let's look at fii uh, sorry 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 this is my my bad now if you look at futures data fii has sold 2000 crore futures that is undeniably bearish and stock data is 300 cr by mild bullish very very mild bullish i in fact i would even call it neutral here because like it's just 300 crores right and this is uh, bearish this is very very bearish now if you ask me put overall right i am a little skeptical about this uh this entire scenario because i am conflicted in the sense that uh this is negative this is negative this is negative but this one data point is a little mixed right so looks like 17700 is a resistance and we have a reversal signal that is engulfing bearish on a resistance so i mean logically right if you have a resistance and if you have a candlestick pattern at a resistance which shows reversal you should be short so shorting seems the way to go right and my trades would be i would uh, sell 17700 plus calls uh short futures or even uh do bear call spreads basically sell on upticks is the market so this is not a buy on dips this is a sell on upticks right uh, bullish only if blue line breaches this is my overall wording finally going to usd nr yeah usd nr is very clearly bullish right i mean it's taking a very strong support so let me just quickly go to i i okay so let's look at uh, dollar right so yesterday we had talked about this right that dollar is forming a uh, dragonfly doji here and this is a strong uh, sub uh, indication that there is support here and buyers are pushing the price up here and today also we saw that it again got pushed up so usd nr seems uh, strong to me despite whatever rbi is trying to do so net net right nifty looks like it is going to go to um reversal uh fii sorry um bank nifty seems like it is going to go to reversal uh and finally uh, usd nr looks strong so venki is asking a question is there a good option to buy 17700 put so the problem with put buying is that you're trying to time the market right and see what if you buy this week's put and the move actually comes next week so this is my only problem with put buying mm, you can do uh, put buying sorry i'll just reduce my my size right yeah this is fine right so i you can do put buying right but it's just mm, uh, i'm i'm not sure about put buying because there is premium involved so why are we not discussing fii fno stock sell data uh, nifty intraday is asking here who the only reason is that i haven't found it very relevant and i haven't found it um, forming a proper um, uh, what do you call it pattern there like i couldn't find any pattern which is why i pass it uh, sirendra is asking is there a fed meet yes there is a economic symposium uh, in jackson hole happening i mean it's like a meeting of all these american economists here 
maybe something might come out of it. It is happening in, on this weekend. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if that is an event and what will come out of it. Sometimes it can become non-event. Venki is asking for September month expiry. Maybe yes. So Venki, if you have a very big target like 16,000 Nifty or something, it might make sense to buy that put. Uh, Manish is asking, is market being hard to trade from last bullish rallies or just me? Are humbi hai boss. Everybody ke liye it is hard to trade. So you are not alone. So, so overall my thought process is this. Maybe one, so I mean of course some of the things you can try doing is, you can even try doing, uh, sorry what is that thing here? Analyze, not, not analyze. So I can give you some strategies if you want to take a bearish punt here. So one thing you can do is, if you think you want a good RR trade, one thing you can do is you can do a bear put spread, right? A bear put spread will give you an RR of 1 is to 2 almost if you take a 17500, 17300 put spread, right? And tomorrow let's say market opens up, then this RR will be even better. Uh, if you are really, really, you know, living the life, one thing you can do to improve your RR is, so think about this spread, right? 17200, 17000 spread. Now this gives you almost a 3 times return. And if you do it for let's say 10 lots or something, right? Sorry. If I do this for 10 lots, then basically I am my max loss is 26k, max profit is 75k, right? I'm not saying that this is a trade to do, I don't know that. But I'm saying that if you have a very big directional move, keep 500 point jaga, 600 point jaga types, then this is like a good idea, right? Pick up a deep OTM and then make it a spread. So if you do only 17,200 put buy, um, you will only make around, um, let's see, let's see how much you will make on expiry, right? If it goes to 17,200, 17,000, you will make like 38k, right? And you can lose 60k. But instead of that, if you are doing 17,000, 17,000, 200 put spread you'll actually make more money you'll make around 73k and your loss is also lower so if you have like some mega bearish view this is something you can try out i won't do that i am more of a you know uh, call seller bar uh, what do you say uh, spread trader i also like uh, futures uh, but i won't do put buying because i'm not a buyer. Dhruv is making a good point. Dhruv Vashne is saying that Bank Nifty trend line is having a positive slope. Yes, Dhruv, you are right. Uh, this is a positive slope. It is unmistakable. So, point taken. For all you know, it could happen that it can break this trend line and go up further. So, yes, point completely, completely taken. It's a positive trend line. So, yeah, I mean, I will leave it at that. You, Very, very fair point, right? And, uh, yeah. So that is that. But anyway, so this kind of completes our analysis for today. As usual, this is not tips, advice or any of that stuff. Uh, this is just analysis so that we can all figure out uh, how to do analysis alone at the end of the market every day at 3.30. So, um, uh, so that's our analysis for today. We'll see you again on Sunday night. Uh, thank you so much for jo guys joining. This is the highlight of my day and it's a lot of fun doing this every day with everyone. Uh, so as usual, you know, please take care of your health, please monitor your mental stress. Don't trade if it is causing you mental distress. The most important thing is, you know, a stress-free, happy, peaceful life. Uh, so please take care and keep 